Yeah. The uh, one with after, one on the wheels. After the pink house burned down, the okay, other the one. one on the wheels. So not the one that held like. Well, was a pretty nice. Not the one actually, with the indoor though. pool. Yeah. What? The one, not the one with the indoor pool. No, this one didn't have a basement. <laughs> no, th this is. Oh, this the is flammable a, house. This is in Bingham Lake. It's it's pretty cheesy. Trailer. Well, trailer. the trailer didn't burn though. It's a trailer um, home. But you it, figure a house to full of basement water would I'm not burn. I'm listening, I'm listening, Joshua. The basement just boils. You got it. We story. 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 story time! You, you want to hear a poo story? story? Trust me, but I'll you? tell you either way. I kind of do. Who wants to hear a poo story? Brenda? The, tra the trailer home was a wonderful place, though. I actually <laughs> thought... Stop. I like the soaps that she had, even though I couldn't use the cars the in them. Soap? Yeah. <laughs> she had car-shaped soaps in my bathroom. And, I mean... They were cool. I liked how the carpet was soft and fluffy. I liked, I liked the couch, how it was soft and fluffy. I liked the TV, how it was big and pretty. There was many nice things about that home, but one of the things that wasn't so nice is that when I went to the shitter, if I went to shit, it was okay, not a big deal. If I had a shit, that's fine. But it's when I had a piss. That's when the evil began. All right. So when you open up the lid of the toilet, you know you look at the down in the porcelain. The porcelain's clean. It's white. It's been cleaned. It's perhaps that maybe Lisa Larson herself has washed this toilet. It looks nice. Okay. But here's where the evil begins. Your eyes start to verge north. You start to look at the underside of the toilet seat lid. And that is where the problem begins, okay? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a kindergartner draw a picture of the sun? A picture of the sun, it usually indicates a circle. With yellow in the center, which is fine, right? A kindergartner usually draws the sun as such, with a nice circle. Shades it in yellow. <laughs> but that is not the last step. Here's the last step. The last step generally <laughs> indicates rays of sunshine. <laughs> as such. <laughs> squiggles. <laughs> Usually with yellow. Okay. But here's the problem. Okay. These rays of sunshine do exist. <laughs> Except for the center. Of the toilet does not contain any yellow. <laughs> you look up and you see the center of the toilet seat lid. You see the back of the porcelain on the back of the toilet. It's white. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this picture. At this point, except when you look at the bottom of the toilet seat lid. This is where the problem begins. You see, the problem begins at the bottom of the toilet seat lid. Four. It has rays of sunshine, but they are not yellow. <laughs> The rays of sunshine are instead brown, <laughs> as if from some sort of explosive diarrhea shit, the pressure of which is so immense, they create rays of brown coming from the center, going towards the edge. You wonder, how can there be rays of brown? <laughs> <laughs> and that is the problem, you see. Because they are not rays of sunshine. They are rays of turd. Coming from pure force. From the bottom of the toilet. From the shits that join them. And extend towards the edge of the toilet seat. Which you can only imagine come from some fucking Kemper snacks or gravy and eat it. It's like, how do you have a shit so powerful? It destroys the bottom side of your toilet seat. <laughs> and that, that is the story of terror that I've seen once I used Jordan's toilet. Jordan breathe, man. It was very tough. Because at first the toilet did seem normal. And then that is what I was left with. <laughs> that pretty much concludes the story, but I think all of the information has been filled in there. This is, this is gonna be called the shit story. <laughs> Please, I hope that all Fuck of you. the story enjoy. He's laughing so hard because I made him clean the toilet the other day because there was rays of shit <laughs> on the toilet seat and I wasn't gonna fucking clean it. It's not rays of sunshine, is it? It's no, it's not. I'm surprised you don't go to Sam's Club and just buy like 20 toilet seats for nothing and just fucking replace them. It doesn't just get on the toilet seat, it gets on the top of the toilet I can't seat. even, I can't even manage that. I've had some forceful. Oh, forceful. Shit's must be powerful.
I don't know. Uh, it's, it's See, not... the issue is I wait till I cannot absolutely hold it anymore. That way I don't have to wait for it to come out. <laughs> I wait, and then I waddle the bathroom, <laughs> hold it, pausing 20 feet, 30 feet, 2 feet from the can, hold it in, pull the pants down, back up to the toilet, if it's ready to come out, I already sit down, I hold it, squinch, wait there, then sit down and let her go! <laughs> but you see now, now what I'm wondering is, okay, if you have a nice hard turn, how does it not just flush itself? It just shoots down so fast it just flies through the pipe. Because this is a hard turn. <laughs> that is the solution to the problem. Like for the past week, it's been like water. <laughs> yes, it's not a hard turn. So do it in the shower. It'll go down the drain. Don't waste time. Icky. That's that's just the issue. Is is that it all goes to the same place? I pee in the shower. The pressure, the the bare metric force is enough to. Okay, there's no, such a good seal no, that it can't escape. No, here's here's some science for you. The atmospheric pressure right at this level is 14.7 pounds. You need a barometer on your toilet. He has enough pressure in his shit to override this and push out and create a ray of turd sunshine from his toilet seat lid, which means he's got at least 15 pounds of pressure coming out of his ass into this toilet. That's what makes the shit spatter. That, that is the story. Well, what if he was just leaning really far forward and it just shot straight back and... Uh, like, no. It's possible, it but probably if you've seen, dribble down. If you've seen it, you would know.